so we've arrived in Port Louis in the capital of Mauritius and we're just waiting to meet up with our tour guide from Taste Buddies. His name's Ashvin and then we're going to head deeper into the city to discover all of the wonderful food of Mauritius. I'm super excited about it because Andy's tried all this before, his dad's Mauritian, so he's done it all. I haven't tried anything, dal puri, roti, I'm just super excited and I'm starving, so yeah, I can't wait. So we're going to head in and try and find Ashvin. So the Port Louis street food tour is actually the most um, vegetarian, vegan, and if you don't eat fish as well, it's very friendly. So um, as you are aware, most of the Mauritian street food is really vegetarian, but then you can walk around and find some good, uh, if you're a meat lover, I think you will find your, your place as well in the Mauritian street food tour. There better be some meat. <laughs> there better be some meat. <laughs> can you see them? Oh, the bat. Oh, the yeah, bat. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh <laughs> now, these are called the Rousset bats. These bats are endemic to Mauritius and they are considered as one of the largest species of bats in the world. These bats mainly eat fruits, okay? And some of them do eat some insects uh, as well, but they're actually protected by law. Uh, you can't eat them and you can't kill them. Thank you. Two of the most famous street food of Mauritius. The dolpuri is very also often considered as being the national dish of Mauritius. The first layer, just a very thin layer on top. Not this one, the outer layer. Yeah. His is a very good example. So that would be the yellow, yellow split piece. Inside you will find um, the gros bois which is butter beans or lima beans which is cooked in a curry style which is not very spicy by itself but it adds a creamy texture and then you have the famous rugai sauce which is a sauce tomato based sauce coming from the south of um, india some chili in there and then you have the bread sauce. now the bread sauce, very similar to taro leaves but in texture when you cook it it's like spinach, but cooked for a very, very long time, so it becomes very creamy. These are what we call here, very famous. These are called gâteau piment, or chili bites. They do have them in Réunion Island as well, okay? They call it bonbon piment, okay? So this one is made, again, with um, split peas, with coriander inside, a lot of chives, and some dry chilies. And then, what makes it good is that it's deep fried. <laughs> We've got some dal puri and some roti. Let's give it a go. Bite first, you get that creamy yeah. texture, it's very soft. And yeah. then when you have it with the curry, it wets everything in the... Mm. And then, I love this one. There is often a big debate in Mauritius of which do you prefer the best? The yeah. roti or the dal puri? Okay? Um, I am team uh -huh. don't worry, mm -hmm. but many people are team roti and I don't befriend them. I see, <laughs> I see what you were saying the other day. You can't explain what, what, the like, what yeah. that's like. I was trying to ask Andy, like, what, what is dal puri? What does it taste like? What's the texture? And you can't explain it until you try it, but it's quite like um, uh, grainy, isn't it? Yes. Like, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> what team are you on? I like them both. This is the root. Mate, hey, you got to pick a side. They're both delicious, but... Uh, okay. No, I don't think I can Me make too. my mind up. Again, I'll again. Let me just try this one again. This one is more dry. Yeah. So it makes a balance with the salt. I like them both. I think I like that. maybe dal puri a little bit more, yes. but I do love roti. These aren't very spicy though. We has this got ch chili in it? We did the tourist version for you. Oh, you did the tourist version. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you said spicy this time. Okay. But you, you kind of get the spiciness in the middle. It's a little you bit, yeah. It, yeah, at one place only. Right. Right. Roti time. Roti time. Sorry? Andrew's first experience of a roti. <laughs> 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 
That's kind of like the cross between a tortilla and a pancake, like a British pancake. Oh, pancake. pancake. How do is that? This is gato pimo, so it's like chili cake or chili right. bites. <laughs> what is pimo? Yeah. Chili. Ah, uh, right. Chili bite. Not much cool. Gato pimo. It's nice. But not so dry, dry actually. Yeah. Yeah. Normally you would dip them in um, like chili sauce. But we yeah. didn't get any. But we've had the tourist version, so it's actually not very spicy. So yeah. hopefully. Ashwin, it's going to get hotter as we go. This <laughs> on the next day, okay. we can try some <laughs> spice. 1500? Yeah, 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 exactly. I actually genuinely want one. I think it's like. Originating from the Hakka cuisine in China. So when the Chinese came to Mauritius, they wanted to recreate whatever they were having back in China, but they don't have the same ingredients. So they kind of adapted a little bit to the local scene, and these bullets are very unique to Mauritius. You can find similar ones in Hong Kong, where there's a huge Hakka community as well, but for most of them, you will only find them here in Mauritius. Good? So normally here, we, do, we make you taste the dumplings, the dumplings plus the fried noodles. Good? It's bullets. Bullets and minfria. Oh, okay. Minfria means fried noodles. Oh, nice. It's made with a vegetable called the chayot, okay, that you grate. Suck all the water, it's filled with chicken inside. The white one is your normal fish ball, but made with fresh fish. Wait, you want it spicy? Uh, I mean, I didn't say I wanted it spicy, but... <laughs> Right, okay. He loves it spicy. <laughs> How much did he give you? Oh. <laughs> Good. Just flavor the broth a little bit. So you'll find that the chili is also a little bit sweet, um, which makes it like extra flavorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it spicy? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too spicy. Mate, the flavor on that is just... It's like an explosion. Wow, that's so good. What's this? Thank you. All right, so we have some noodles here. Um, vegetarian noodles. Okay, so we're going to try the chow mein. It's vegetarian chow mein, so we'll give it a go. I mean, I pretend, but I've already tried it. It's amazing. He's already <laughs> had some. Gonna he couldn't wait. It, but. but honestly, that's delicious. Um, I'm not sure on the prices though, so I'm going to have a look um, at how much it costs. But we definitely need to come and try this one. This is delicious. This bowl of noodles costs one pound ten or sixty rupees per portion, so it's very reasonably priced and is super delicious. All right, what so do we have here? What you are having is fish and cheese. Crab, crispy fish. Um, this is a type of uh, fish ball, but it's longer with a lot of herbs inside, and the traditional fish ball. Amazing, thank you. So we have a bowl of soup with lots of different like fish dishes in here. So there's some crab, fish. Ashwin just explained what they are, but we're just gonna give it a go. That one's really nice. There's like five different ones to try, so I'll just take little bites. This one's crab. And then, don't know what this one looks like, but I think it looks a bit like a dumpling. It's like white inside. I'm not really sure what that is. Is that fishy tasting? My I think one. all of these are fishy. Yeah, my one tasted a bit fishy. Again, that one's really nice. That's fishy cheese. Ah, that's right, it's good. <laughs> Like everything tastes things. good with, Your with cheese, things. yeah. <laughs> it was really nice. And then the last one is this. I don't know the name, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think that's been explained. I mean, I don't think you need to apologize. There's a lot to remember. Yeah. And then that one as well. Uh, my favorite one, no surprise, is the one with cheese in fish and cheese. It's really delicious. You should definitely come and try this one. And then there's also some broth in here as well. Super good, really nice. But come check it out. This place is called Special Bullets. Yeah. Yeah. 
But this is Chinatown. It's crazy. They've got the uh, Instagram tags of the people that have done all the artwork as well. Oh, nice. Quite quiet in Chinatown on a Saturday. I thought it would be a bit more it's busy. Quiet in this whole city. Yeah, Saturday. true. Yeah, yeah Ashwin was saying that it's actually really quiet uh, in the city on the weekends because most people go to the beach, but on the weekdays it's like super hectic. So with this one, the papaya and the peanuts, and then it's rolled in sesame seeds Ooh. and it's beef fried. Give it a go. Oh, the consistencies. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like really stretchy. Can you taste the papaya? No, thank God. No, I, don't <laughs> I was like, going to say. I don't like papaya. Oh, really? It's, it's, it's actually it's like crystallized really papaya. How oh, is it? It's cooked with um, in sugar for a very long time. Right. And then it's like chopped. You get like crispy bits, but you don't have really the flavor. Oh, no. It's actually really nice. You tried it's yet? chewy, it's crispy it. on the outside, and you get very unique. I've never had anything like this. It's genuinely nice. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert. Okay. Next one is. Okay. <laughs> it's like a sweet, um, sweet and sour chicken ball from like a Chinese. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With sesame seeds on the outside and cold. Minus, so minus the chicken. Minus everything that is a sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Napolitan. These ones are called napolitan. Yeah. Um, they are like two shortbread cookies uh, with a little bit of jam in the middle and then with some icing sugar on top. And you pair that normally with um, tea in the afternoon. Cheers. It's the same thing. It's like a Wow, that's the best one I've ever had. Super crumbly shortbread with uh, jam inside. And then, um, what do you think? That is like the softest, crumbliest shortbread ever. These are definitely my favorite. You should try these. I'll find out what, how much they cost. Um, I don't even really like the sweet food so much, but I could eat about 50 of these. 50? I could probably do the same. Andrew's going to try one of these chicken buns. Are they steamed so, or cooked in the oven? No, uh, <laughs> Ashwin basically said they are the same as like a bao bun, but instead of being steamed, they're baked in the oven and filled with chicken, which I mean, it sounds like heaven to me. Is he inside? Oh wow, there's lots of stuff in there. It's only one pound or 50 rupees. It's sweet. Um, there's lots of sweetness inside. Wow. Anyway, I think we're heading off now, so Try it. we'll take this one for the road. Try it. Salted fish here, then dried with turkeys over here. Dried. Dried octopus. Dried octopus. And there's dried shrimp. I know you can't smell it through your phone, but I'm hoping that's not part of the food tour. Let's just <laughs> yeah. say that it's a bit fishy. So. It's quite strong, isn't it? The smell. No, very yeah. We skipped that stop, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> what we are going to do here is firstly we're going to try. A very um, typical thing of Mauritius, which is the Victorian pineapple. Uh -huh. Okay, but we're going to have it with a little twist. Okay, I'll let you have it like natural one, but then on, the, on a small side of it, I'll add a little bit of salt and chili powder just to enhance the flavor. And then we also have like a, a special tamarind sauce. It's very similar to a caramel but with tamarind inside. You let me know how you like it. Maybe you like it all natural, but maybe you like it the Mauritian way. Good? They call it a Victorian pineapple. <laughs> wow, that was oh, a good no. catch. You should have filmed that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just stopped it, sorry. <laughs> oh, is it tamarind? Yes. I didn't hear you say that. Just... Just get the B-roll running. 
Honestly, it's completely different to the pineapples you get back home. This is like the sweetest pineapple ever. But we're also going to try it with some chili salt on as well, which is like a Mauritian twist. So a bit spicy. I think Ashvin's going to come over once he's given out the pineapples. And we'll try it with some chili salt as well. Extra protein, with the chili right? salt. Good. Spicy. Nah. It's like a tiny bit of like spice in the background. It's very strange, but it works. Um, and you should definitely try it at least to see if you like it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, so this is what the sugar cane looks like before it's pressed. Okay, so this is the stem that they will use to extract all the juice. And you end up with something like this which is very very fibrous mm -hmm. and uh, this is where the all the juice has been extracted wow. cheers everyone cheers. thank cheers. you for the food thank tour. you cheers, cheers. 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 Oh, sorry oh i think no. i might have lemon in it <laughs> sugar cane wow, pineapple yeah. i mean i guess it's just pure sugar green apple and love Oh, it's not just pure sugar cane. <laughs> I thought it tasted a bit tropical. <laughs> Apparently, it's not just tropical juice. Uh, sorry, it's not just sugar cane juice. What else? What does it have in it? I have the little mustache. mustache. Like. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> sugar cane juice, uh, pineapples, oranges, um, green apple, and green lime. Amazing. Ah, okay. Um, very 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 sweet I would say but, but this comes from someone that drinks he drinks water all day I mean all Coming I from... drink is water <laughs> Mauritians are brought up on sugar for me this is just like really lovely fresh fruit juice but Andrew's exactly quite sensitive to sugar say. so a little bit of rum inside yeah. oh a little bit of rum yeah yeah now you're talking my language um really nice though very very nice and I'm not really like a fan of sweet stuff but yeah fruity cold chilled refreshing oh, we even got ice inside so these are the Mauritian, raspberry. Mauritian raspberries, which are like a cross between a raspberry and a strawberry. So they're actually 100 rupees for the pot, for the box, for the whole box, which is around two English pounds. So it's actually quite reasonably priced. Apparently they normally eat them covered in sugar. Are they good? They don't need sugar. They don't need sugar. <laughs> they're very uh, squishy. They're well nice. You can wow. see the, how they're quite sharp between the yeah. uh, strawberry and the raspberry. Yeah. yeah, a little bit sour, so maybe the sugar might balance it out, but I think they're just good on their own, to be honest. We'll buy the box. 100 rupees for the box. You should definitely try these. I've never seen them anywhere else. He's also given us a banana to try. You can see how small they are. This is the extension of the food tour. You pay yeah. extra for this. <laughs> yeah, this is not included in the food tour yet. Oh, yeah. They're like tiny, but they just pack so much flavor. Like 10 times better than an English. Right. I've had these many times before, and honestly, they're incomparable compared to the ones you get in England are just so tasteless, but these ones are just so sweet and delicious. How much are the. Seven rupees for one banana. Seven rupees for one. Amazing. Yeah, we'll take some. Should we get some bananas? Oh, you can have only one, two, three, whatever. Yeah, can you take a couple for the road? Yeah. So that brings our food tour of Port Louis to a close. So we're just going to finish off these drinks. But thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.